UPDF has confirmed the threats from neighboring Diora Kong following a recent attack on UPDF camp in Zewi, Zombo district, where UPDF lost a soldier and others injured. This, these bandits, so the so-called uh, rebels, operate from the other side, they cross from the other side coming into Uganda to mainly, mainly destabilize or cause insecurity in within that area. The Homeland Liberation and the Kodak forces from Kong are in the bad eye view on Uganda's army top list of enemies to pursue under the UN Security Council framework of hot pursuit, which requires no consultations for a country to invade an enemy using territorial grounds of a neighboring country to wreak havoc. But it was immediately foiled. Seven of the bandits were put out of action instantly. One gun was captured, and there are also other assorted weapons which were also captured, and these included bows, arrows, and machetes. The security of the area has been beefed up. Only the forces were there, but we've beefed up and we have made reinforcements to ensure that there are no further incursions. The army has also reinforced its disarmament operations in Karamoja region to combat cattle wrestling. This time round, we have even built more capacity. The force has built more capacity to ensure that these guns that are causing havoc are gotten back. Investigations into the killing of a UPDF officer under Fisheries Protection Int at the Landing site in Kongo Entebbe Wakiso district are ongoing. It is alleged that the officer was drawn by illegal fishermen operating on the lake. But this even gives us more energy. It energizes us to even actually triple our efforts on these illegal fishermen. And we shall do it. This will not stop the soldiers or will not stop the security, no amount of intimidation. Because I do this just to make sure that perhaps we do not, or the soldiers avoid these waters. We shall not stop because we have a duty to make sure that the waters are safe, to make sure that the fish industry grows. UPDF is also worried that the seditious statements and government critics on social media platforms are scaling away donors interested in supporting UPDF-led projects. Statements to the extent of saying uh, donors don't come. Donors don't bring money here. Sometimes we are forced to to come into things that we would not want to have wanted to do. We are forced to do action, th certain things or to take actions or approaches that we would not have wanted. But we cannot see someone fighting Ugandans because when you're talking about donors not coming into the country, you're kind of fighting Ugandans. Abdul Nasil Lubwama, UBC News.